Hi, welcome to my studio. My name's Chris. In this video, I'm going to share with you my brand new Meaden watercolor porcelain palette. I'm going to demonstrate the best features of this watercolor palette, and I'm going to explain why I think it's a great choice for those just getting started in watercolor. Let's get started. Hello friends, I just received my Meaden Heavy Duty Studio Porcelain Palette in the mail and I'm going to open it up and take my first look. This is the Meaden Artist Studio Porcelain Watercolor Palette. It's 13 by 10 inches. It has 17 wells and two large mixing areas. It weighs a little over three pounds and it's made out of porcelain, nice smooth surface. And I'm excited to add this to my watercolor studio. I just washed the palette to get rid of any dust from shipping and I'm gonna fill it with these six colors. These are actually the Daniel Smith Essentials set. I have two yellows, two reds, and two blues. We've got both a cool and a warm yellow, uh, a warm and a cool red, and a warm and a cool blue. If you'd like to learn more information about this set, there'll be a link in the description below. This is the way I like to lay out my palette, going from my warm colors around to my cooler colors. If you'd like to learn more about how to set up a palette, I have other videos about that. I will put them in the description below. To demonstrate the mixing area here, I'm mixing up my Hansa Yellow Light with some of the Pyrrole Scarlet. This is a cool yellow with a warm red. Should make a nice orange like you see here. In addition to good mixing areas, you're also looking for nice large wells. Like we see here, I have my new Gamboge. Uh, it's important to have a well that's large enough to fit your standard brushes. Again, this is the Princeton Neptune 14 round, which is a pretty good sized brush. And I can fit that brush in there real well. Again, the nice smooth edges, uh, make it so you don't damage your brushes. Remember, you're, you're gonna be uh, pushing your brushes up against the edge of these wells over and over again. And so you want nice smooth edges that won't do damage to these brushes. You spend a lot of money on good watercolor brushes and you wanna make sure you don't damage them on your palette. I'm going to mix up some of the quinacridone uh, rose here, which is my cool red. I'm going to mix that up with my warm blue, which is French ultramarine. And another thing you're looking for on the palette as you mix is that these pools of color uh, pretty much stay where you put them as you mix. They don't, in other words, they don't bead up or pool or contract into small little puddles because you're really trying to get a sense as you mix what that actual color mix is. And uh, if the pool uh, or if this area of color contracts or beads up, it makes it really difficult to see the color you're mixing. So this, this palette is, is really nice in the mixing areas uh, for, uh, for not pooling, not beading, looks great. Another thing I like about these porcelain palettes like this that have the deep wells is that you can actually mix up a pretty decent mixture of a color right inside the well where the pigment is. You can see I'm, I'm carrying quite a bit of water from my, uh, my water container and putting it right into this well. Uh, and once I do that, I can simply go from here to my paper. And since you have limited mixing areas out here, you may want to actually just mix up colors right in one of these wells. Um, and you could get quite a bit, quite a bit of pigment mixed in these deep wells. One of the only negatives I can see in this Meaden porcelain palette is the fact that it doesn't come with any kind of cover. As you probably already know, if you've been watching my channel for any time, I love porcelain palettes, and this is the Stephen Quiller porcelain palette. This is a fairly expensive palette, about $90. It's a real investment, but I love it. I love the fact that it's round and mimics a color wheel with a layout of the colors like you see here. Um, however, I decided to purchase the second slightly smaller palette by um, Meaden 
because it's quite a bit less expensive. I purchased this on Amazon for about $30. So it is one third the price of the Stephen Quiller. But I think the quality of the porcelain is really just the same. Um, because it's smaller, it's lighter. The, the Quiller palette is about eight pounds. The Meaden palette is only about three pounds. However, it is quite a bit smaller, so that would make sense. Um, it's not as big and bulky. The sides don't go up as, as high. Um, the wells are not quite as big in the Meaden palette as they are in the Stephen Quiller. Um, it doesn't have as many wells. You actually have 32 wells in this Quiller palette and just 17 here. So uh, again, they are very different palettes. I love the Quiller palette. It's still my palette of choice if you can afford it. However, I think this Meaden palette is an excellent introductory uh, porcelain palette for those beginning in watercolor. Another important quality of a porcelain palette is the actual whiteness of the palette surface. And you can see here that both these palettes are very similar. They're really a good bright white color, which I think really shows the color of the pigment quite well. If you'd like more information about my Quiller palette, I will leave links to both the video and the product in the description below. In addition to the Quiller palette, I also own this other small porcelain palette. It was very inexpensive, about $12 on Amazon. I purchased it just for demos and videos that I was doing where I needed a really small palette uh, inside the, the shot. And uh, it's, it's a nice enough little palette. However, you do notice uh, the color difference here between the pure white of the Meaden palette and this little more of a brownish colored white, tan white on this less expensive palette. So again, I really prefer the real bright white color on a palette. I hope you have found this review of the Meaden Porcelain Palette to be helpful. Check out the description below for all the relevant links and information. This video is part of my Getting Started in Watercolor series, which is designed for the beginning watercolor artist. A link to the playlist can be found below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.